Hey guys, Zach from Kubota Lynchburg here. I wanted to talk to you guys today about servicing and mainly sharpening your lawnmower blades. So right now it's winter time here, which is why we're inside doing a video today because it is 20 degrees out. But now's the time to start prepping your machine for spring. It's right around the corner. Um, sharp blades are very important to a very nice look, a very good quality cut. When you're leaving stripes, you're cutting through that thick grass for the first time throughout the year, it's important to have very sharp blades. Now, your easiest option is probably taking it to a dealership, having them either sharpen it or putting a new set of blades on. But your other option, if you're a little bit more handy, is you can sharpen your own blades. So I've got one of my mechanics here with me today, Mike. Um, he's gonna kind of show us how to sharpen the blades properly and a couple different ways to do it. So this is a skag, a brand new skag that we kind of showed up the easiest way to jack up the front of a lawnmower. Um, you can actually put your jack stand right underneath the front of the mower deck. It won't hurt anything and it'll kind of get a little bit more of an angle, easier to get underneath. Do make sure that you please put your jack stands, your safety stands underneath in case it does slip. You want to have it to fall on something, not on you, and try not to be under the machine that long. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to jack it up, put your jack stands underneath it. You're going to be able to get underneath the machine, and you're going to be able to get to those three bolts that remove the blades off the machine. Now you'll have to have the right socket for it. So for example, a Skag takes a 24 millimeter socket, whereas the Kubota mowers take a 30 millimeter socket. So you'll need that. You'll need either a wrench or an impact gun, something like that to take the blades off. And then you're gonna to wanna to sharpen it. So you can sharpen the blades by using either a blade sharpener as seen here. Mike is using our company blade sharpener to sharpen the blades. This is an expensive unit, but it is very nice if you're doing a lot of them. So if you're more commercial or you have multiple mowers, it's nice to invest in one like this. We got this one from Oregon. It's really nice and easy to use. Your other option for sharpening blades is to take it off and use a hand grinder. You can basically put a clamp on it and hand grind both sides down to a sharp area. Um, there's a couple different ways to do it. You could use an old file system and everything like that as well. It just takes a little longer. Um, but as long as you get the blade off of the machine and sharpen it properly down to the right edge, you're good to go. Technically, you could probably sharpen it while it's on the mower but you're definitely not gonna get near as good of an edge or as even an edge as you would removing it. So we're gonna show you here real quick how to remove the blade off of your lawnmower. So on the Kubota mowers, you have a little bit of a different system. You've got a 30 millimeter bolt on it, and you're gonna have the cup above the blade in the washer. So once you're done taking off your blade and sharpening it properly, make sure that everything goes back in the same way that it came off. There's some pressure washers in there and the cup system. You're just gonna wanna make sure that each mower is a little bit different, so you wanna make sure it goes back together properly as you took it off. So sharpening the blades on your tractor is gonna be a very similar setup, a very similar procedure. If you have a front end loader on your tractor, you can always use that to kind of pry the end of your tractor up and set up and get underneath it that way. Um, you can always jack stand up the, the mower deck again or your axles. So again, just get underneath it, take those blades off, give them a good sharpen before springtime hits and make sure you're ready to go. 